it's, it is so life changing and I have one regret and that's that I didn't do it years ago. Friends that nurse together get surgery together. That's what Jess, Ty and BJ say. These three close mates have more than a nursing degree in common. They all have had weight loss surgery. And their combined weight loss was more than 250 kgs. End of 2019, I was 152 kgs, and now I'm sitting around 72, 73 kgs. We're going off my highest weight that I have ever recorded. I've lost 61 kgs. I feel like I enjoy my life so much more now that my body isn't restricted and restrained by the extra weight. The first day before Easter will be yeah. good. I've lost around 64 kgs and probably around 50 something post-surgery. It's looking really good. good. And just feel a lot more comfortable in my own skin. They spend their days caring for and helping others, but weight loss surgery was about putting their own health first. BJ had her surgery in 2021 in the public health system. My girls have already lost their dad um, 13 years ago this year. I wasn't about to let them lose their second and only parent left. So I decided that I needed to look after myself first and foremost if I wanted to be here for my whanau and for my mahi. Ty and Jess went private for their surgery last year. They did the whole journey together, including surgery on the same day. I really enjoyed exercise. It was hard, hard on my bigger body. And my weight loss journey in the last couple of years, I decided that enough was enough. Dieting and exercise could only do so much especially with my health history. The last four years before doing surgery, I did keto pretty consistently actually for about four years. As soon as you go off keto, then all the weight comes back on. I was like, nah, stuff this. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, and so I decided to have surgery done. Ty and Jess both had health issues growing up that made their weight hard to control. They tried fad diets and exercise, but nothing worked. I was always a big, a bigger girl. As a kid, I grew up with heaps of respiratory issues, which meant a lot of prednisone as a child. So anyone who's ever been on steroids know that you get hungry. I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a metabolic disorder that makes it harder for you to drop weight. What would you say is the most beneficial thing that has come out of doing it? I'm living and loving my new life. You know, I used to exercise before because I had to, and now I do it because I love it. Going into a clothing shop and being able to fit, like, clothes off the rack that I would never have dreamt of fitting before. I am running, which I would never have said a year ago. I try to run three times a week, usually about six to eight k's. But weight loss surgery isn't always easy, and all three had to get their weight down to qualify. There was a point where I was actually going to get kicked off the list. I had to lose five kgs within like two months. If I hadn't, then I was off the list and I couldn't get back on for another two years. If food is an issue for you, I feel like you need to deal with a lot of those issues before having surgery done. I don't want to spend all this money on surgery and for it to be my head that kind of failed me in the end. What are your thoughts on people saying it's cheating in terms of losing weight? It 100% is not cheating. It is so hard when you don't have that addiction anymore because you can't eat as much. You then have to deal with the mental issues, the real deep root cause of why <laughs> you use food as comfort. It's a really good science-based proven way for people who are obese to get a hold of their lives. Even though their operations are complete, for these three women, weight loss surgery is not a fad, a diet or a quick fix. It's a lifelong journey. We've seen people after five, six years post-surgery just put it all back on and some. And so I'm aware of that, I'm very conscious of that and I don't want to do that. For us, you know, especially over the next two to five years, it's just remembering that the surgery is just a tool and to continue on with the good habits that we have started. Renee Lolly here, Local Focus.